Hi guys, welcome to this video about what you can do if you have problems to connect your devices to the WoW router. So I'm now on WoW, I was previously on uh, Spectrum, um, Bright House and Verizon Frontier, never had problems connecting my IP webcams, printer and so on, but with the WoW equipment I'm having problems, especially with the WoW router. Um, yeah, people, I mean small company, you see it's not Verizon and yeah, the only good thing, as far as I know, till now, they have really good uh, upload speed. Uh, probably the best upload speed on copper. So I decided for WoW because I don't have fiber optics at the location I am now. So, um, yeah, they're a little strange, but they did the installation, everything was good, uh, internet was... Yeah, more or less okay. At least the up upload was good, download was not so good, but uh, I, I was able to m live with that. The only real problem I had was connecting some older devices to their router. They have something like this. Um, yeah, it's it's an Aries. It's not this one, but it looks somehow similar. And uh, this is what they put, um, they attach this to the coax cable and this gives me 2.4G and 5G uh, Wi-Fi through my home and yeah, I, I was just not able to connect to the Aries router they provided me. I was also trying the WPS or VPS, I don't know how it's called, uh, Wi-Fi protected uh, security or something like that, uh, which is built in also to, into my computer, uh, my printer, and it was not able to connect. I did try it manually. Well, uh, no way, no way to connect to the Aries router. So, um, yeah, I did it. Uh, like a temporary fix I had an old Wi-Fi router which is about 10 years old almost I attached it um, yeah through Ethernet and yeah it was possible to connect but it was really slow had really uh, not not really good Wi-Fi range it was really really uh, uh, an absolute temporary fix uh, if you have something like this, if, if you have a good Wi-Fi router, okay, you can easily uh, fix that problem. But if you don't have, instead of buying an extra Wi-Fi router, here's my tip. If you have something like this, uh, like an Aries um, setup box, so um, yeah, then you, if they give you a uh, new device then you might have a Wi-Fi built-in into the setup box. I never had this with Verizon or Bright House but I've checked the setup box here which they put on the uh, lower floor in my house right next to the TV this is a DVR, like a recording um, unit. You don't have this with just a normal uh, TV box. When you just uh, pay $10 for a regular setup box without recording, you won't have this. If you choose an, um, for DVR, it's $13 instead of $10. You get a bigger box with more options with recording and they might have this when they, when they do have the screen sign here then it's probably wi-fi so when they um yeah when when they set it up you have to tell the technician that you want to 
set up also this Wi-Fi not only the the other Wi-Fi which is on the normal router tell them that you also need the Wi-Fi on the setup box first I was asking him hey uh, guy um, I, I've seen the Wi-Fi signal or like a Wi-Fi icon on the setup box is it possible to use that they told me no that's not possible we never did that that's not possible forget about this and I said, okay yeah yeah okay and probably you're right then for some strange reason he had to call his boss uh, for, for, for another thing which uh, where he was struggling to connect my devices and th then he asked his boss how he could if, if, if it's possible to use the Wi-Fi and he instructed him how to do that so he now set this up so we actually now have two Wi-Fi Wi-Fi's in our home the good thing is this one we have on the first floor this is on ground level so we now have um, really good Wi-Fi on both levels that's a really really good thing the only thing which you have to um, aware of is that these two Wi-Fi um, networks are not connected so the one from here and the one from here they seem not to be connected for some yeah for whatever reason uh, I'm not a network technician so probably it just is as it is it's probably not possible to connect they are all anyway these are both gateways are on 192.168.0.1 so yeah they definitely would interfere with each other if they would be connected because they can't be two gateways on the same IP address in the same uh, network so probably you have to use it as it is but if you have the printer on one device and you want to print you have to have your PC or laptop on the same uh, Wi-Fi networks that's the only trade-off uh, luckily I'm still able to access the setup box Wi-Fi on the ground floor from the upper floor PC so uh, even when the signal is a little bit weaker I'm still able to use that and I can print and I can do everything now because this yeah I <laughs> almost forgot about to tell here with this device it seems to be much more easy to connect all the device all the devices seem to be much more compatible uh, to all the devices than the um, router it could be vice versa I don't know but it's definitely worth a try if you can't connect to such a device and you have a setup box and you have the signal just try to uh, activate that or let it activate and use that in my case I was able to use that with my webcams and also with my printer and even on the back side it had this WPS uh, button and it worked for my printer so I didn't have to set up the Wi-Fi manually I was able to use the button and that was super easy so I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time